On deck for you in our MLB coverage, we'll see the Baltimore Orioles as they play against the New York Yankees. Should be a great matchup right on deck. Chen Meng Wong, the hitters will be planning at the plate. Try and get that ball off the ground against the sinker baller. A contest in the American League East with the New York Yankees in front of their home fans. I'm Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, Sean Clark with me, Major League Baseball, 2K Sports. And as he gets going against these Baltimore hitters, what do you think we're going to see? Well, this matchup for the pitcher, not the best matchup for him, so he really has to limit base runners right now. Don't give this quality lineup too many opportunities. Here's the lineup for the Orioles. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, the guy that came up with about as much fanfare as anyone in recent years, and that's Matt Wieters, a switch hitter, a big tall guy. And sometimes, Gary, those tall guys take a little longer to figure out their swings at the major league level. I think Matt... What is and here's all? Nick Marikakis leading it off. For the Baltimore Orioles, right fielder, number 21, Nick Marikakis. At the belt, Wong kicks, throws. Right Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. There's a swing, and that one's hit on the ground. Throws in time to first. What a play. Makes a terrific play and a fine throw. Well, this should have been a base hit. The hitter thought the ball was going through, but a tremendous effort keeping it in the infield and getting the out. Here's a look at how the Yankees will match up defensively. So, John, any individual stand up? Well, the unquestioned leader of this ball club, Derek Jeter, he's the guy you got to look at. Look, he's aged. Yes, he's lost some range. But what he makes up with his lack of range, he now makes up with intelligence. Knowing his pitchers and knowing their hitters, he positions himself spectacularly in the game. That's why you rarely see him out of position. Swung on by Hardy, strike one. For a long time ago, remember when the O's and Yanks used to square off at the top of the division? Well, it's been a while since then, but the fans still kind of battle each other in this series. That is a strike. Hardy now lean out over that plate to protect. Certainly the unbalanced schedule that uh, has these teams in every division playing each other 18 or 19 times has made it really tough for the Orioles to go against that Eastern Division, and that has faded that Yankee rivalry game. And last year, an example of that yet again, the Yankees were able to take 13 of the 18 meetings between them and the O's. Kind of punctuates the difference between the top and the bottom of the AL East. And here's Adam Jones. Lifetime record, one for five off Long. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. A oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. The pitch. Strike good two. hard sinker that time in control on the count now. 0-2. Okay, he's very susceptible to the changeup with two strikes. Let's see if they've done their scouting. A swing and a ground ball. Pitch on the way. Big swing and a miss for Adam Jones. That'll send him back. Strike three. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning and nobody left on base. And the Yankees getting ready to start this one off. Our starting pitcher for Baltimore. Number two. So, Steve, uh, what's he going to be conscious of as he looks at this Yankees lineup? Well, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a. There's a swing and a ball into straightaway center. This ball is tagged. An amazing leaping catch. What a play. Right fielder. Number 31, Ichiro. Now, oh, here's the uh, lineup in the books for Joe Girardi. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Kevin Euclid is never an easy out. He's going to make pitchers work. They're going to have to throw a lot of pitches, and he's now added power to his arsenal. We always knew he had the ability to hit for high average. Now the homers are coming, a double threat. He's got 
Ichiro to swing, strike one. Well, playing within the AL East like they are today, the Yankees 39 and 33 last year. But most of that damage up the middle. And Hardy picks it up. And that'll sit down Ichiro. The numbers you were talking about, Steve. 24 and 12 against Blue Jays Orioles for the Yankees. 15 21 against Tampa Bay and Boston. Well, that's how it worked for the for the Yankees all season long. I mean, a 64 and 34 record, 30 games over 500 against teams at or below 500. But when they played against teams that were over 500, just about 500 at 33 and 31. The pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, that's just one of those the pitcher says, here it comes, try to hit it. Fastball hitter, he wanted that pitch, he just didn't quite come up with the swing. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And a good defensive half inning, three up, three down. Nothing doing for either side offensively here in New York. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. It's going to be Weeders. Called strike. Long's got him 0-1. I don't think he likes that call, but when you're diving out over the plate, sometimes that fastball up and in doesn't look like a strike even when it is. He delivers. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Matt Weeders. Watch that strike zone. That's a good swing right there. He was right on. It just came up empty. He can do some damage if he ever connected with that pitch. You can't connect on that one. Matt Weeders. He's empty and gone. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. I think the pitcher had him fooled on this one all the way through, John. He wasn't expecting that outside corner delivery. Well, he just pulled the string on that pitch. And that's good, good stuff right there. And Chris Davis to bat. You know, it always seems like young teams struggle when they go on the road. And for the Orioles in 2011, that was part of the story. They just couldn't find road wins. Oh! Davis making contact, but he'll foul that one away. And with the young pitching staff of the Orioles, the road games, it really showed up. The worst ERA on the road in the majors, John. Yeah, Baltimore's record on the year would end up being 30-51 and 51 when they had to travel. And that mark was good for third to last in the entire majors. Just not getting it done. At the belt, long kicks, throws. You're Swung on and missed. Chris Davis, strike three. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four seam fastball in KK. He decides to take a hack at a pitch up and away, but he just couldn't put the barrel on it. Nice piece of pitching right there, John. Well, it certainly was. you got to give him credit to the pitcher for giving him something eye level to chase at. And it's better than batting. Solid batting average, lifetime, 341 off the Yankees. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter which pitcher they trot out there, Gary. He loves hitting off every one of them. Called strike. Long's got him 0-1. Well, that's an outstanding breaking ball for a strike on the inside part of the plate. It locked the hitter up. He just froze and couldn't swing at it. Plays off that fastball, and it's 0-2. And the sinker swung on and missed. Side retired. So, Chin Ming Wong gets him three up and three down. And he's off to a commanding start. And the Yankees, it'll be their turn coming up. And so, Robinson Cano set to go. Number 24, Robinson Cano. Swings at that fastball and misses 0 and 1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Swung on line to right center field. And there it is. That's our first hit of the ball game. So Kevin Euclid will come up. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0-1. Lifetime average, 320 against the Orioles. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Euclid's a dangerous 0-2 hitter, though. He deals. One and oh, two. tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. 
Well, that right there is a really good pitch, just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of, that hard fastball away. There's a throw over. Much too close for the runner's concern. He's back in there, though. Three and change two. up just about had him, but it's full now. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. And here's the 3 2. He swings now and really hit that. That's going to one hop off the wall. And here's Cano for the plate. And he's in there. He scores from first. Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Uh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. Curtis getting the RBI chance. And uh, Steve, they've got the edge right now. They're getting some big runs at an important part of the game. Trying to salt it away early. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. He's got a 295 career batting average off Baltimore. That's a foul ball. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. Marquecas is there. As he drops back for it and puts it away. And he looks that runner back to second base. This ball hit toward the wall. You see the right fielder backpedaling. You don't recommend that because your head bounces around and you can fall, but still able to make the catch. Nunez at the plate. That one hit pretty well, but uh, it goes foul off to the right. Here it comes. Up the middle. Makes its way through for a single. Euclidus around third, headed to the plate. And he scores. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate. He took advantage of it. And Cervelli's in the box. Steve, we've seen them continue. There's a swing, and a ball hit well. Straight away, center field. And Jones manages to make the catch. Wow. Left fielder, number 11. Gardner at the plate. Correo number, just a 223 average off the Orioles. And it just seems like there's always that one team that you struggle against, and this happens to be the team for him. Fouled off by Gardner. Oh! Here's the pitch. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And that's a base hit. Gardner's on. Terrific opportunity right now for the Yankees. Number two. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience. Good pitch recognition. Sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. Now a swing. That ball is hit well. Deep going back. And he drops back to the warning track to pull it in. And so their second inning offense able to play two runs here. That offense is rolling now. The Yankees are in front, two to nothing. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Reimold's batting on the ground to second. And Cano picks it up. And his throw is in time, first out of the inning. Uh, Gary, this guy makes it look easy and he retires another one at first. Flaherty up at the plate. Right. And a swing and a miss on Wong's pitch. 0 and 1. Well, now that he's ahead in the count here, Gary, I think he's going to utilize that changeup to try to get a swing and a miss. Here's the pitch. Swung on, liner to right. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base, and he does with one out. That base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. Machado in the box now. First pitch is a splitter in there. 0-1. 
Well, that split finger down and in right there. He takes it for a strike, and if he swings at it, he might be limping around the batter's box. He'd hit it off his foot. Hit well to the right side. That's two got. He hit this one on the screws, but luckily the first baseman had him positioned properly and had the big old glove over there to get him out. Nick Marikakis with a runner on first base. Over his career, eight hits, 19 at-bats off Wong. And he just has nothing to fool him with, Gary. Every time he sees him, he gets the good part of the bat on the ball. Here's the pitch. And it's 0-2, and Nick Marikakis is going to have to cut that swing down here. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. You're out. Strike three swung on and missed by Marquecas. No luck. Chen Ming Wong. How to get it done. Nothing doing through three That's innings for him. For the and the Yankees. It'll be their turn coming up. And it's Ichiro to lead us off. Ichiro. Grounded out his last time up. Now the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And that's going to be a base hit for Ichiro. That will bring up Mike Teixeira. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. Well, anytime you have a switch hitter in a lineup, it makes the manager's job. He's running, heading for second. And he is safe at second. And he throws it away, and everybody's safe. Let's see this one again, Gary. He gets a fairly good jump at first base, makes it easily. Nice job. That's where sliding can really make a difference. You do get in there faster in this situation when you get down. And now he's in scoring position. The left center. One away. Well, this ball is hitting the left center field gap. And the center fielder has priority over the left fielder. Good job taking charge. He called him off and made the play. With the runner on second, here's Robinson Cano. Cano, he got all of that one. And goodbye, home run, and the Yankees have extended the lead. Now a four-run ball game. They just doubled their lead on that one. Take a look at the change in the win expectancy brought on by that two RBI homer. Pitch down and away, Steve. He found a way to go up and get it. Oh, that's a pitcher's pitch. I mean, there's not much you can do there. That's an exceptional that's job of hitting. Not many guys can hit a home run on that one. Well, Yankees continuing to score here, Gary. Credit the offensive charge. Here's the first delivery to Euclid. Line shot into center field. And Jones takes care of that one. Fielder, number 14. And Curtis Granderson to bat. Granderson. He deals. Big swing straight away center. Warning track. Wall looking up. Vaults himself way up in the air to pull that one in. Wow. And they had a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. Yankees with some breathing room, up by four. It'll be batters two through four, do up next. 